Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with a Pixel Game Jam. This was a game jam that was in collaboration between Women in GameX and Coca Cola Creations. Um, it was a game jam that ran for only a couple of days, and you needed to create magic through digital or analog games during that time. A lot of this is in English, so we'll see if the games are in English, but I'm be trying to play each game for a minute each, 10 per video, links to individual games in the description so you can check them out further. All my links are also in the description if you want to check me out and support me and my endeavors to play lots of indie games. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting and subscribing. Let's get started. We're playing Fungi Adventure. I like the character. Ooh, when I use arrow keys it moves up the entire map. There's only a Windows build, otherwise I would download it so that we wouldn't have to move up the screen when we jump, but there's not another build on it. This feels like a good start, but it's just missing there's some basics and a tutorial. It looks like I can uh, throw out spores. Let me back up. I'm not liking the page moving up and down, sorry about that. Well, I was trying to jump over it, but it didn't work. No, I'm dead again. Next! We're playing Dream Bite. This looks very interesting. This is like my house. I've got a table. Wow, lots of food in my kitchen. Calendar, looks like dinner is ready. Sloppy Joe's. I don't think I can interact with anything. I think it's kind of just to show that you walk around at this time. They got a lot done though. It's like a big house. I'm trying to peek out the curtain. I clearly have an ocean view. And my name's Molly, or at least I was in Molly's room. Huh. Next. We're playing Phantom Voices. I don't know what this says. So I guess we're fine. We don't need to read signs. Nah. There should be a ghost. And get to the little ghost shell at the end. Okay, I don't think the cloud is good. I think it's bad. Oh, we need the star maybe? Maybe the cloud isn't bad. Let's put the star away. Oh, okay, so it's like a snail, and we have to put them a snail, a snake. And we have to put them away. Maybe we've put them away in the order we picked them up. So we already had this little lightning boy. There you go, lightning boy. Now we'll put back this little star. Go star. Now you can move much quicker. But I can't remember the maze any better. <laughs> there we go. Huh, this is cute. Next. I'm playing Video Cat. I do not know if this game is fully finished. Cats hate pickles though. So if I'm meant to be a cat, pickles would definitely be my enemy. It looks like just a basic prototype or con. What was it called? Prototype or a, I don't know, a very early concept. That's the word I was looking for. Sorry, sometimes my brain just completely forgets words. Very early concept. There's a lot of graphics here, though. A lot of interesting bits and bobs. I like the look of these walls. It could be some sort of runner where you have to jump over them or something. Avoid pickles, collect dots. Maybe they're treats. I can't really move up or down, I can only move forward or backward. Next, we're playing Bite Adventure Flavor. Looks like a little platformer. Our jumps feel a bit odd. I think it's because I can't actually see the character's feet, so it's hard to tell how the jump is. I don't need to collect that, okay. This also feels like a concept. 
like a very early prototype, which game jams are, so it's great to see so many of them. So this makes me wonder where they're gonna go with it. I can't really turn my view around, so I'm kind of stuck with this perspective. I'm trying to make it over to that blue glowy bit. I feel like maybe that's where we're meant to go. Who knows if we'll make it there in a minute. Movement feels a bit slow due to how big the area is and how kind of empty it almost feels. But I'm sure that's something they'd work on with more time. Next. We're playing this game. I can't do that, but it looks okay. If you really screwed yourself now, turn on the way it says. You committed terrorist invasion. This game. This is a turn up boy tax invasion. Turn up boy tax invasion is a funny game though. Maybe I'll play more of that tonight when I am relaxing. This pea is very cute. It fit in the world. We do not have double jump. Maybe I'm meant to this way. I'm just a little vegetable pea looking to, I don't know, do something. Explore a kitchen? Not get eaten? Who knows? The world's cute and interesting. I don't really know where I'm meant to go or how I'm meant to get around. Next. We're playing Mad Ant Fury Road. These ants look very mad. Player one will have to tap the keys that show up on the upper part of the screen and collect more leaves. Oh, it's a two-player game. Yeah, I'm both players, so good luck. W-I-D-D-L-W-K-A-S-I-W-I-L-W-A. -I -I so you can't press the keys at the same time. Oh, wait, maybe you have to go back and forth. So S-L-A-J, nope, A-K-W... Player one wins. Ah, so it's a competition, but also if you're pressing down the keys at the same time. Maybe it's not about the same time. Maybe it's about when they pass it. Who knows? I have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest, actually. I just know sometimes the, press, the key presses aren't counting, which is odd. I like the graphics, though. Next. We're playing the Fall of the Beaver, which sounds really fun. I don't know what these keys do, but sure. Oh, it's a rhythm game. So I wonder if X is on the top or if Z's on the top. Either way, I'm excited. I do like rhythm games. And I like the funky beaver at the bottom. And I guess the bottom. Nope. I was guessing the bottom was X. playing brunch it on this adorable cherry milk carton. Play a little coke cap. There's ooh, a big sludge of chocolate sauce. There's some spoons that we can spin. A waffle. No, he's attacking me. I don't want him to attack me. Waffle, this is a pleasant tea party. This is very cute, to be honest. I really like the cuteness of this entire little tea party. There's bacon. Uh, also, I'm strawberry on one side. Maybe I'm strawberry and cherry juice. My bad. Can I, like, turn this and hit him? And then he dies? No. I like his little boots. Don't know what to do in game, though. Also, like the doilies. Maybe bacon and waffle will make a bacon waffle. I like bacon pancakes. Making bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes. Hmm. Next. We're playing Hypatia Eotrag 
Tikias. I didn't say the name right. I'm not gonna pretend I pretend I did. I clearly didn't. Uh, but the name wasn't on the screen, and I wanted you to know it. I don't think my jump's big enough to jump over this character. And I don't have double jumps, so I'm not uh, sure how I meant to get by. I like the weird bushes and clouds in the background. I think they're cool. And they've definitely created something. I just don't think it's quite finished. I can't dock either. Like, go flat. So I think this is as far as I can actually go in this game. Yeah, because they just turn around. Okay, next. We're playing Sabo Magical. Again, I don't think I said any of that right. My jump is like a teleportation. That's fun. Sometimes I get stuck in the wall though. I think I touched the magma. Okay. Oh, but I restarted from that same point. But I can't seem to move. Odd. Looks like they've got some bones down though for the start of a good platformer. Next. We're playing Shattered Souls. Alright, so I can jump. My jump's a little bit floaty. And I can kind of maybe collect. Oh, if I tap quicker, I have a smaller jump. Alright. And there's like clearly an opposite me, like an evil looking me at the bottom. So maybe their plan was to have us both interact in some way or be mirrors of each other. And maybe we'd collect books and avoid the gems. Currently it feels like a very early prototype. I like the look of the gems though. My character looks slightly ghostly. <laughs> I feel like ghost might have been one of the themes. They definitely have some good bones here though. Next. We're playing B1. This looks like another two player game. I haven't multiplied in the time since the previous two player game. Ah, oh, the graphics are adorable. No, it's a one player game. This is great.